Some off-campus apartments have bugs, mold, and appliances that break down or simply do not work to begin with. Some of the bad things about it is there's mold in places that I didn't even know mold could grow. Um, everything that we have is broken. We had a broker, broken washer and dryer for about four months and our washing machine for our dishes has never been fixed. Students also have difficulty getting management to fix broken appliances. Some have waited weeks to get needed repairs. I absolutely hate living here because of the deliberate ignorance in the front office. Not only has my AC been out a number of five times, there's black mold in my kitchen, along the walls, in the bathrooms, in the drains. It is literally unlivable here. Students seemingly have no recourse to take other than hope their landlords will pay more attention. Several off-campus student living apartments have provided students with terrible and unlivable conditions. Many students have taken notice of this and are trying to make a stand to fight for better living conditions. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tyler Wiener. In other news, Costco is continuing to expand its presence in Texas, recently opening a new location in Kyle off of I-35. The Kyle Costco is the 38th location in the Lone Star State. The store is known for its wide range of projects, including a fresh produce section and an in-store bakery and deli. Costco also has a pharmacy. It's a popular shopping destination for Texans. Costco members who pay $120 a year enjoy exclusive discounts. Most stores stay open until 8.30 in the evening. Ah, what's your name? Hey, Brianna. Uh, what do you do for a living? Chick-fil-A employee at the moment. What is your political affiliation? Libertarian. Why libertarian? Because I hate Republicans and Democrats. Why do you hate Republicans and Democrats? Because Democrats have screwed over black people for decades. Their schools are failing. Their cities are failing. Nothing's good. They have higher taxes, which hurts the lower class. The inflation tax hurts the lower class. Republicans, they don't keep their word. They don't reach out to black people. They don't do as much as they should. They don't give the opportunity that should be there. Understandable. Do you have any personal experiences in your life that also made you feel this way? Uh, yes, because I used to be a liberal myself. And then I started to do a bunch of research. And I realized the fact that they were not there truly for black people. Then I became a Republican. And after doing more research, I realized the same thing. And then I came to the Libertarian Party, and they had the most economic sense. It's all about free markets, liberty, and just freedom for everybody. Understandable. Which school of economic thought do you endorse? Uh, the Austrian School of Economics, for sure. That is the only correct economics. Why do you say that's the only correct economics compared to, like, Keynesian economics? Because the Keynesian economics have been proven to fail. If you look at uh, economists who have predicted stock market crashes in housing in the housing bubble in like the 70s, 2008, 2009, the free market economists and the Austrian economists major majority were correct while the Keynesians were wrong. It's just proven over time that their school of thought is not correct. Okay. Um... How do you feel about the issue of police brutality against black people in America? I think that it is, um, I think it's overhyped. In 2019, 23% of all the shootings in that year were black people. If you look in New York in 2018, 74% of the shootings and the deaths were black on black crime. In 2018, 90% of black murders were by other black people. The bigger issue is black on black crime, not specifically police, police brutality against specifically black people. Do you have any ideas on how like we would fix that in our country? Uh, at the moment on how we would fix that, uh, I would just say better training with police overall so it doesn't happen to anybody. Uh, I think that the Democratic Party specifically needs to not overhype these things and make it seem like black people are being terrorized by the police anytime they walk outside their home. Yeah. And final question, should we abolish the Federal Reserve? Oh yeah, <laughs> we definitely should. Uh, they keep getting us in more debt, they can't stop printing. Uh, the past chairman, Ben Bernanke, in an interview, 
admitted that he lied to push the Federal Reserve's own agenda. They don't care about people. They're corrupt just like the government is, and they don't do anything for us. I lied about that being the final question. I have one more. How big of a problem do you think inflation is going to be for this country in the future? Huge, huge. The inflation tax is definitely going to kill the poor class. It's going to hit them the worst. It'll affect everybody in the end. But poor people, the lower class, will get hit the hardest. And even if you don't directly raise taxes, that is a very indirect way to raise taxes through inflation. It is known as the silent tax throughout history. It is. Thank you for your time.